Hi folks, uh, this is going to be yet one more YouTube video on making an alcohol stove and there's a lot of videos on YouTube already about alcohol stoves but uh, a lot of them are pretty hard to make and uh, I've what I've done is I've looked for the the easiest one can method to make an alcohol stove so the easiest and fastest way to make one and uh, this is what I've come up with now I did uh, watch a video that made one almost exactly like what you see here and uh, I made it and that, that particular guy used nothing but a pocket knife and a pair of scissors to make his and I made one his way and it worked and it worked well but I thought it was still uh, a little bit hard to make so I decided to uh, see if I could come up with a way to make it faster and easier than the way he did it and that's what this video was all about this method you can make one in less than 10 minutes so here's the can and if you notice on these cans uh, there's a flat area and then the the can top where it starts to flare inwards comes down now you want to cut your can the can top off and the best place to cut it is right along this edge right here well, I'm going to show you the tools we need to to make this uh, first off here I've got 10 jewel cases and I'm going to use this for measuring the can and uh, holding my sharpie pen steady while I make marks on that can. Uh, first thing you need really is the can. Then uh, I need, you'll need a pair of scissors, a regular average everyday knife. I've got, a, um, I've got a razor knife here, an awl, and these needle nose pliers. So I'm going to start this stove up and with two cups of cold water in it and hopefully by the time I'm done it shouldn't take much longer than uh, the amount of time it takes to boil two cups of water on this to make this stove I'm gonna cut, this, cut the top off of this can Careful. This doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, you know, the better you do it, the nicer it'll look. And so. have this this problem here unless I'm showing people how to do it and use this all just bend in these, these pieces anyway uh, so that's done and the next step is to make my marks on the can uh, now the bottom part we're gonna got eight jewel cases and a sharpie pen just spin it 
and that gives us a two inch mark from here to here and turn it over add two more jewel cases make another mark all the way around so this is turned over and that's two and a quarter inches from here to here and those are the measurements we want and the next step is to cut these two things in half. Cut them in half. scissors. And we're going to cut along these lines. And I'm kind of racing here because I want to get this completed before that water boils. And it really doesn't take long. So I got so that one's cut. is done and the bottom is done and I'm going to rinse out uh, there's a little little uh, soda still left in this can I'm going to rinse it out okay so here's our two parts here's the top and here's the bottom now the bottom is complete now the next step is to take the needle in those pliers and go with the pliers right up to where it starts to slope in here. You just tweak it. Come around the other side. Tweak it again. And come to the middle. Ah, that water's already boiling. And then tweak it again here. And go once on on the middle of each one of those. This doesn't have to be perfect. Right. Now, you might need to, uh, on each one of these, they, they might need to be fine-tuned a little bit so that it'll easily fit into the can when when you go to insert the top part into the bottom yeah, the water is already boiling anyway uh, it looks something like this now the next part is to take your your knife don't cut through but just make a dent in the top of each one of these little places here that you made an indentation that you used your used your needle in those pliers don't cut through just make a dent done here next part just take your awl and make a hole near the top of the can but not a big hole fairly small and just fit these two pieces together and on the inside press it more or less against the against the inside wall 
this stove is ready to cook with now. This is ready to use right this minute. So that's how you do it. Uh, now, once again, I, I don't recommend burning isopropyl alcohol indoors unless you have good ventilation. But uh, just be careful if you make one of these and uh, don't burn your house down. Don't start a forest fire. If you're outside, you're going to probably need a windscreen with one of these. But they are handy little uh, things to have and they're kind of fun to make. I've made a bunch of them. That's about it. Thanks for watching.